I currently work with a client that's using the, the RSAT tool to create test cases and run test cases. And, and um, one of the things that they do is they do use the warehouse app bat task validation tool to record um, where advanced warehouse test cases. And recently we upgraded to 10.0.19. That came out in June of 2021, which was last week, and they upgraded the environment to that. And one of the things that happened when we did that is we noticed that the app task validation tool stopped working. So it looked like it was working. You know, you could set it up, press the start record, do your task in the mobile, and then stop it. But what happened was that none of the test cases, test case steps showed up in the tool, right? So it didn't really, didn't really record anything. So this kind of stumped me. I didn't really know what to do. Um, so I actually posted some uh, message out to Yammer to see if I could figure out if, if something had changed or something in, in dot 19, because it, the system, the, the uh, server had just recently been updated. So I assumed it had to be something with that. And one of the responses came back was that there's now an, a parameter setting that um, that you have to turn on to be able to use that. So once I turned that parameter on and, and did did a recording again, worked first time and worked, worked beautifully just like it normally would. Okay, so let's, first let's take a look at where this parameter is. It's, it's a simple one parameter turn on and it restores the functionality. And then, then let me explain to you why that parameter is actually there. So we're going to take a look at warehouse management, warehouse management parameters. And under the general section, if we go down to the mobile device section, there's a new new parameter here called enable RSAT report, uh, support. Now this is as of, if I go up and just show you the um, version we're on, we are on 10.19 in the system. This is the first time that it's appearing here is in 10.19. Um, so once you enable that parameter, your, your app task validation tool works just as it, as it did. Now, why that parameter is there is kind of exciting. A lot of us have known for a while that th this is only available in a tier one environment. Um, and that was kind of, that was kind of constraining that we could only do, use it in a tier one environment. Cause really most of the RSET testing that, that I, that I do is you want it to be in the, in the tier two environment. Um, so what this is this is allowing us to do now is this is available in the tier two environments, which is really cool. Now the reason for the parameter is my understanding is there's a lot of overhead to that app task validation tool, and and it's you should not be turning this on in production. So I'm I'm reading that as it's going to slow things down a lot if you leave that turned on. So if you if you're using a gold environment where you're moving gold into production. For all your settings, make sure in your gold environment you're turning this off. You don't want this enabled in production. Okay, so this is one that stumped me, and, and I just want to make sure that that everybody else sees where this is at in case you get stumped on it. And if you're not familiar with the app task validation tool, I'll go ahead and I'll put a link to it right here, so you can kind of take a look and see how that works, so you can start doing your advanced warehouse recordings there. Okay, so I hope you found some value in this. Until next time, see you later. Bye.